Oh. I can't. I saw the cameras rolling now. I'm gonna throw up. Everything's rolling right now. <laughs> we are live. Welcome to another episode of Two Rights Make a Wrong. And that is Daniel. That is Russell. And we've got the wonderful crew here with Lilo, Carl, and Jay. Say hi, guys. Hey. What up? Hello. <laughs> all right, all right. How you doing? Doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Um, I guess I just want to double up on something here real quick. Let's just double down again. Probably safe to do so. I do not. Absolutely do not want to kidnap anybody, especially the, the Rock's children. We're, I just I had to go through that. That, that. that deserves two apologies. So, you're sorry. Yeah, very sorry. To Dwayne the Rock I am Johnson. sorry to the entire John Johnson family bloodline. All right. For that one. All right. So, okay. just, just, just to be clear on that out there, which camera's behind that one, that <laughs> you're safe <laughs> from him, F from me. Yeah, you're definitely safe from me and anyone affiliated with me. You're safe in yeah. that regard. Yeah. The, Mr. Mr. The Rock. Mr. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, stop saying Dwayne. Why? Because Dwayne is a completely different person. Okay. Like, when you think of Dwayne Johnson and Dwayne Johnson, you think of, like, completely two different people. Do you? I do. Oh. Dwayne Johnson's The Rock. And who's who, who do you think of when you hear Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Dwayne. Dwayne. Well, that's, now that's completely different. Dwayne, Dwayne. Uh, I'm not saying Dwayne. Dwayne, the rock. Dwayne Johnson is like an oil tycoon. <coughs> like I imagine him being like an oil, an oil tycoon. Okay. Like, hello there, sir. My name is Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> right. Does he wear a cowboy hat? No. Nope. Uh, no. Okay. No, because he's not that type of southern. He's like. Does he have a gold tooth? He's like no. He's oh. like he's like from um, like Carolina Southern. Okay. Like I, I imagine he's like so the middle. Yeah, that's still part of the southern. Yeah. It's actually really weird because the majority of the southern accents that you hear are from more so the middle section of the country, not the south south of the country. I mean, kind of. People from Mississippi don't talk like that. People from Florida don't talk like that. I mean, we're considered the Midwest, and we're as far north, and we're east. Well, we're, we're not, not mid. Well, we're not Midwest because we're in the middle height-wise of the country. We're in the middle Midwest of, we are, like... The Midwest of what? We of are New York? Maybe. But we're in the middle of the country. Right? Do I have my directions correct? Uh, New, York York is west, east, New York is East New York, yes. Yeah, we are west of New York, yeah. and we're east of the Mississippi. Correct. Yeah. So we're, like, we're not Midwest. I mean, again, but we are middle of the country horizontally. Mm. That's true. Not really. Sure we are. Okay. We're, uh, we're still pretty, we're still pretty east. Well, where the Midwest starts is pretty darn center. Minnesota is pretty darn center. Yeah, Minnesota, maybe. And that's where the Midwest starts. And that's why you have... Yeah, I don't know where the West part comes in, though. Yeah. That's, that's what, See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where the West part comes None in. None of it makes sense. Yeah, I guess we... Is there a Middle East? Yeah. <laughs> there is definitely a Middle East. <laughs> that's... That's not... not <laughs> in our country, is there a Middle East? <laughs> um, maybe it's just a part of town. Okay. Uh... Because what are, I guess, what are the regions of our country now? Oh, oh I thought you were going to ask the middle, the regions of the Middle East. No, I'm very familiar with that. I'm not. What, what are the, what are the regions of our, there's the Midwest. Yeah. And then I think we have the South. And what, but what, what's encompassed in the South? A lot. Basically all of the people that were for slavery. <laughs> it was everything <laughs> South of the Mason-Dixon line. Okay, but is, so is that 
how we're determining it now is Pretty much. anything south of the Mason Dixon line is considered the south. Yeah. Pretty much. And does that go all the way through California? No. Well, no, because California the is the that's west the coast. New world. Okay, so west then. It, where does the west start, and is that can, is that one of the regions, the west, or is it the west coast? Like I think. What, yeah, I, I think it would be the Midwest, the West, the South, and New England. I, I was gonna just say New York, but yeah, uh, New England. But then, okay, so but we're not really sure how the country's really split up. The only thing we really know for sure is that we have the Midwest. That's really the only thing we're one hundred percent certain on right now. And then, well, I mean, we have we have the West Coast. Well, we have a West Coast, but we also have an East Coast. But are those regions, or is that just... Okay, but when you say... But there is a massive difference between saying the West Coast and the East Coast. When you say the West Coast, you know what the West Coast is. When we say the East Coast, you still have to break it down, going where the fuck from the East Coast. And in fact, if I were to call anything the East Coast, that would very specifically be like the Jersey area. Really? Yes. Oh, I would consider everything on the East Coast to be East Coast. Yeah, but Florida and Georgia, they don't consider... That's South. That's not the East Coast. Oh, but right? I still, well, and that's, the Carolinas well, that's as well. well that's, that's not the East Coast. But that's what I'm saying. Is the East Coast a region or is the East Coast a definition? Just, I think the East Coast is a definition well, as then opposed I would, to the, the West or where the West Coast is the region. Well, then, then I would say if the East Coast... Well, that's, that's where I beg to differ with your with your reasoning is if the east coast of is a definition then therefore things that are in the south and part of new england can all also be part of the east coast yeah but it's not okay then then i would say that it's a region not a not a definition i would go with vice versa no but yeah i don't know no because it's literally the <clears throat> eastern coast of the united states but it's not the region so it's the definition. Right, but what you're saying... But it's not the region. But what you're saying is that you would only consider certain things part of the East Coast when right. you hear East Coast. Therefore, I would call that a region. But there's nothing called the East Coast. We don't call it the East Coast. It's New England. That's what I'm trying to say. There's no fucking thing as an East Coast. Okay, call them the flip down. Um, all right. That was very unclear that you were saying that they were the same thing. No. It was. Not at all. Yeah, it was. Was it clear? I zoned out. I'm sorry. I don't know what you guys are trying to say. <laughs> I'm just trying to look up what's the, what's considered East Coast right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you just look up what the what the how the country's broken up to in East regions? East and West Coast are regions. Neither of them are regions. No. Okay. So then, I guess that because there's a Pacific Northwest then too. Is that one of them? Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Right. That's gonna be part of California, Oregon, it's like Washington, Washington, Idaho, Oregon. Oregon. Maybe Idaho. I doubt it. You doubt it? Yeah. Uh, does it have to be touching the Pacific? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Idaho is just potatoes. <laughs> it does have a lot of that potatoes. might technically be part of the Great Plains. I think no, because it's no, because no. it's all mountains. Yeah. Idaho is all the mountains, yeah, you're, the, you're, the Rocky Mountains. You're right. <clears throat> so I feel like the Midwest is mostly uh, is a lot of the Great Plains. Well, I mean, is it? Isn't. Yeah, no. Well, I think no. the Great Plains is like going to be like Wyoming. Yeah, that's all part of the. That's a. That's not part of the Midwest, though. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Is it not? No. I don't think. This so. is we have no idea. We have absolutely no idea what it, the, our country I is comprised of. Wyoming. Man, no, no, the Midwest starts at uh, Minnesota, goes through Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana. Uh, it's going to be Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where any of those places are. That's pretty much the extent of <laughs> the Midwest. I, I don't know where any of those places are. Okay. Well, yeah, I have to. Where's I have Ohio? To up for him with maps. Oh, do yeah. I'm We've talked about how bad he is with maps and directions and stuff before. Not good. Yeah, yeah, not good. Well, I'm, I'm good with directions. Mm. I can follow directions. <laughs> That's the thing. I can follow directions, but you can't give them. No, you don't want me giving map or directions. Which way is east, Russ? That way. I was just expecting you to say right. Yeah, I'm pointing right. <laughs> I'm pointing right, so. 
Uh, Russ believes that he's a compass. It's that way. <laughs> I have no idea which way I'm facing right now. I mean, north, obviously. Yes, I was right. It is that way. Oh, oh so I am facing north. Wait, no. No, I'm you're facing wrong. south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so handy dandy survivor Apple Watch here in the basement. <laughs> hmm. Well, right on. What, what's at. Before looking it up, anyone, can you guys tell me what are. That's not. Let's not guess our latitude and longitude. Never mind. I will not give our exact latitude and longitude to <laughs> the whole world. Yeah, uh, Let's definitely. give everyone a pinpoint location. <laughs> Down to the eighth decimal. Yeah, no. Let's yeah, not yeah, do that. yeah, we're not doing that. All right. So, yeah. Um, I don't know where I am. I guess we can wrap that up. Okay, yeah, I that's done. Yeah. We sounded dumb enough there. Did we yeah, find okay. a consensus on East Coast or what? What, what did you? What well, rabbit hole did you find? Or not regions. So, um, uh, I also probably didn't do a very good job of like actually googling it either. He just typed in <coughs> East. Huh? You said you just typed in <coughs> East. <laughs> yeah, that, yep, that's what happened. No. Soft by um, soft East. Yeah, soft by soft East. <laughs> But you like, gotta set so the M to off, W are, for um, Wumbo. I've got this map of the United States being broken up into you got uh, the West, the Midwest, the Northeast, and the South. Okay. Um, other than that, I've yeah. got other you know yeah. other maps That's highlighting nice. basically like just the coastal states. You know that would be East Coast versus West Coast, um, stuff like that. Honestly, I think it's just whatever's in your heart. Okay. <laughs> so tell me where you're from in your heart of hearts. Get in that comment section. Tell us tell us what region you're from. Yeah. Um and then also if if someone still has it, Carl, if you have it, what region is going to get screwed the most by the doomsday that's happening during the eclipse coming up? Oh, I don't have it in front of me. Oh, I thought that was like the whole center of the country. Yeah, it's like actually literally, the like there's no. like just draw a straight I mean, line through the center of the country, horizontally. I, uh, oh, I thought it was vertically. Definitely, like the oh, great... well, the Mississippi gets significantly bigger. Oh yeah, yeah, the Mississippi gets much wider. It's like it's like 200 miles wide or something. Like oh, that. it's it's ridiculous. It's yeah. bigger wait, than the Nile. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, I think we're talking about two separate things right now. No, the doomsday. You asked. For the doomsday map, yeah, and then you also wrote in or uh, wrapped in the eclipse that's supposed to fuck us that's coming up. This yeah. eclipse that's happening in like a week or two, and by the time this episode comes out, it'll have already happened. So, but this eclipse is supposed to be brutal. It's well, it's supposed to be the rapture and then also the start of doomsday. So because did you well did well, him the hurt? doomsday map is based off of the Titanic plates shifting. Yeah. Okay, but it does, is it not related to? The eclipse, then? No. no. I've heard people talk about how it's related to the eclipse, too. No. But, the, I, well, I, have you. So, the eclipse, the last eclipse that happened that went through gosh. America, uh, it went through a bunch of towns called something. I can't remember what it was, like Bethlehem or something. A bunch of towns uh, that I think they were called Bethlehem through America. It was like seven towns called something like that. And then now it's going through seven towns called something else. Which I can't remember what it's called. Like, someone can look it up. What what the seven towns or the eight towns the eclipse is going through that that relates to the Bible, but it it's essentially where like Saul was sent in the Bible to go and like repent, and the exact point where they where those two where the last eclipse and this eclipse will cross paths, is in a town called Rapture. So everyone thinks that the Rapture is happening for this eclipse or at least it's telltale signs that it's coming so that's pretty interesting though is it not i don't know i feel like there has there hasn't been enough things to happen for the rapture to happen first aren't we supposed to have the fucking aren't we supposed to have the antichrist and the second coming all happen before the rapture well there's well, that's I, ezra miller isn't it what's yeah, that that's ezra miller, ezra miller. Yeah. Yeah. i guess we did um, well, I think there's like uh, two schools of thought on that. There's post-tribulation and pre-tribulation like theories where we don't need all to the talk st- about tripping. But like all the stuff is, people think that the rapture will happen before all the crazy stuff happens, 
What, what's what's tripping? Did I just miss something? Yeah, yeah you did. Okay, it's okay. Keep going. Um, but yeah, so there's people who think that the rapture will happen before all the crazy stuff in Revelation will happen, and then people think that the rapture will happen after all the crazy stuff that happens in Revelation well, will happen. So, well, I think the rapture happens, and then it's just hell on earth. So I guess yeah, all the crazy things will happen, but after like nothing's happening after the rapture, right? Except for eternal damnation. Well, but we don't know. No. You're either saved or you're 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 in hell. Well, no, because we don't know if, again, the stuff that's happening that like the Bible talks about, like all the war warrior stuff and all the horses with fire swords and all that kind of stuff that happen, that is going to happen at some point, right? That's the thing that's supposed to happen at some point. We just don't know if the rapture is going to happen first. We don't know if the saved ones will be there to experience all of it as well, or if they will be taken away to heaven before all that stuff happens, and then that happens to all the people who are left on earth. Yeah, I, don't know. I thought the ha I thought I thought that was all the same. Well, I mean, it's, it is, but we were it, there's different schools of thought of the process of the order of the order of the process. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Did we find the cities that it goes through? Doomsday map? No, not the Doomsday map. The oh, eclipse. The, the eclipse, eclipse that the cities go through. No one looked that up. It's called like Nineveh or something. Okay, that's the new one. Did that's you get the new, old one? According to Reddit. Nineveh. Nineveh? I think it's Nineveh. N-I-N-E-V-E-H. Does that spell Nineveh? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but and then what was the one for last one? What does it say? Oh wait, no, it's not. It's only covering a couple of cities with that name, but there's a bunch of more states that have Nineveh's, and it's not going to be passing through those. So. Oh, it's not going to be. Perhaps not. Okay. The theory was that I heard multiple people talk about online that there's seven and seven of each of these towns per per eclipse that happened before and is happening now. But whatever. If they're wrong, they're wrong. So. Probably. Yep. You guys doing anything for the eclipse? No. Oh. No. You guys doing anything cool? No. Well, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to stare at the sun. Yeah, I'm going to uh, look at it too. I might commit one uh, arson. I don't... Just one? Just one? <laughs> just a small one? Just a small just arson. A, just a tiny arson? Just one tiny arson. Yeah. What else you got for me here? On this, why am I, why am I on, this holy, on this holy day. Continuing to need to bring stuff up. Because you have... You have interesting things you have questions for. Well, did you... So, there's something that I know that you were thinking about, but have you seen the new theory? And I don't know if it's new, but I'm just seeing this stuff for the first time recently, so it's new to me. But where people think that the Nickelodeon emblem from back in the day, like, perfectly matches Epstein's Island. They're shockingly similar. Yeah. The splat? What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, that's but it's one of the splats. It's not. It's like it's, it's like the original similar. splat, not not one of the later splats. It's the and we'll get this up on the screen right here as well, mm -hmm. because then like one of the like the I mean even the little dot being that yeah. little tiny island, it's very similar. Yeah, just rotate it mm -hmm. ninety degrees and but um, but then there's all the stuff where people think that like one of the producers of the Nickelodeon shows was like a huge perv because he had like iCarly like put their feet right in the camera. Okay, okay. that's okay. not okay. speculation. Wait, wait, wait. That is no. not speculation. That's one of the things I was trying to like the Drake Bell thing. Okay. This is the Dan Schneider. Yeah. Fucking horrible human being okay. Dan Schneider is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're just going to throw that out there. I don't care. So this like, is legit. This isn't making... speculation. Yeah, this is real. He's, 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 yeah, he's, there's he's, an investigation know. happening. Oh, yeah, he, it yeah, it wasn't just iCarly. It was... It was well, I know. It was a lot like yeah. the Amanda Bynes show, like getting in the hot the tub with her. Yeah, it's... Yeah. No, yeah, there, he's, so this... So, so, and apparently this guy did a lot of bad things to Drake Bell as well, and Drake Bell was trying to, like... So I said I didn't want to bring it up because, like... I, I, I saw a little bit of it and I wanted to research and when I started to research it's like so so much it's like so much bigger and I guess like the only guy that ever tried to do anything about it was Crazy Steve what's his name or what's his name Jerry Trainer? yeah oh the not Crazy Steve but like iCarly's brother mm -hmm. yeah okay well didn't he play Crazy Steve too in Drake and Josh oh yeah in Drake and Josh yeah 
So, like, yeah, that guy, apparently he tried, like, protecting kids and stuff like that a lot and, like, spoke out against Dan Schneider and everything. That's crazy. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I made a joke about the Illuminati killing us for you calling out Drake's real name, but now now I'm done. Oh, now Aubrey I'm Graham? Done. Yeah. yeah. And you do it again. Yep, absolutely. Anyway. Because I loved him. He was one of my favorite characters in Degrassi. Yeah. So, anyway... <laughs> that went quick that was a quick topic yeah so what do you got for me um uh do you uh so um what does ftw mean for the win what does ftw win or ft what does ftw get mean to you guys uh for the win that's uh, what i thought as well i mean are we talking about is that the was that the crypto one? Um no. No, it's F T X. Yeah. Then yeah, just for the win. So yeah. am I not as naive as you thought I was? Because everyone else here thinks that it's the same thing. Yeah, this changed a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah, I actually got kicked out of Job Corps for this. This is why I That's not a Job few Corps. years ago. That's a, that's like two lifetimes ago. That I got kicked out, yes, you're right. But the when the the, the the, the, the fucking meaning of FTW changed a couple years ago. Oh, two for the win. Yeah. So it used to mean, I thought you were saying a couple years ago it changed the whatever you're going to tell us it means. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. What did you mean? know why I got kicked? Did you know I got kicked out of Job Corps? I did know you got kicked out of Job Corps. Did you court. ever know why? Uh, no. Because I led a protest. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this. Yeah. Who, what, what, what were you protesting? What your your own religion? No, 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 no. So, so a couple of uh, the guys I was friends with, they went out, and um, one of them was super trashed, like really trashed, and the other guy had most of his faculties together. But he was a big, big fan of Pantera, and that's where the original FTW came from. Is they had a song called that, which stood for "fuck." the world so when people started using this on the internet it was years i was like why is everybody like yay i just had a baby fuck the world and i'm like why <laughs> like why why fuck the world when this is like thing you should be celebrating why fuck the world and then yeah it was like a while like an embarrassingly long time that i thought people were just saying good news fuck the world but it meant for the win but I st so, so when you so still wait, hold on. Okay. I got more. All more, right. you got more, more to right. the story. So they decided to get tattoos of FTW, okay, because they were fans of Pantera, and it was right here on their neck, okay, right here. And then when they got back to Job Corps, the head of the disciplinary committee spent four hours searching the internet. And eventually came a cross, which is why it was absurd, a German-only white supremacist group called that stands for Forever Truly White. And so, because of that, he kicked them out, saying that FTW was a racist thing. I'm just going to say I'm really glad that none of us thought that that's what it meant. Right. Good, good for everyone here. Yeah, because it's a German-only thing. When I um, was trying to put the words together in my head, I was like, maybe it means fuck the whites? <laughs> <laughs> I was close. Yeah. I almost got there. Um, so they kicked him out, and basically I got like 50 people all rallied together, and in Sharpie, uh, we all wrote FTWs on our neck. <laughs> And, yeah, they basically, like, pulled us out, and, like, we were, like, refusing to co cooperate, and then eventually they're, like, they pulled us all into the office one at a time, they're, like, you can either wash that off, you're going home permanently. And I was, like, fuck you! We will never surrender! So and I was the only one that didn't surrender. So, you didn't technically get kicked out then. You chose to leave. Well, I don't know about that, but, yeah. You chose to, they gave you an option, and you chose to leave. No. No, that's not how that's going to work. I'm not going to abide by your childish wordplay here. 
No, don't give me your fucking, your fucking dictatorship. Like, you have a choice or you don't. That's not how things work in the world. No, that's not how that works. What? No. What? See, no. other people are confused too. No, I'm not. No, I'm not playing by this game. <laughs> but like, I mean, that's, I'm just saying that you didn't get kicked out. Like, that, that was an ultimatum. It's not a choice. But, but, well, but it, it's not a choice. But what I guess what what I'm trying to yeah see everyone else here agrees with I don't me care. What, what I'm trying to say is though wouldn't you rather say that you chose to leave Job Corps no. because you didn't want to follow a stupid thing that they were trying to make you do no. versus they kicked you out yeah no I think I think the more great thing that you could claim is that you decided to leave no I got kicked out. I don't think that's I don't think that's as as, impre as impressive. I got kicked out because I did not want to follow their rules. See, I think that's less impressive. Well, I don't care. <laughs> it's not something I'm putting on my resume or getting a plaque. You of. should. So you put that on your resume. I led a protest once. Yeah. Just that's that's it. Yeah. But so but you still say a couple years ago when this whole definition changed. Yeah. I'm gonna call shenanigans on that. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the definition. The only people who knew the FTW that you're talking about were going to be Pantera fans. Mm. So I'm not going to say that it ever really meant that. Yeah. And it meant for the win during the T5 era of text messaging. Because yeah, that's when all this that. shorthand was created. All these acronyms <clears throat> were created. I mean, it's no, that sure was after been around. that even. Huh? It, it, that, that shorthand stuff started after the T9 ended. Or T9? I thought it was T5. T9? Yeah. Uh, no, no. I think no. a T5 For sure calculator. been around since, like, Halo multiplayer. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yes. Okay. So we're still talking like... So I say a couple of years. I don't know where the fuck I am. That's you think a... that fucking translates to time, too? It's a couple decades. <laughs> you think that fucking translates to time? I mean... Years? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Years do translate the time. That's exactly what that. No, is. I'm talking about knowing where I am. Oh, yeah. Well, what year is it? 2024. I know what year it is. That doesn't mean shit to me, though. Okay. Well, I don't know when things happened. But you're claiming <laughs> a couple years ago. <laughs> okay. It wasn't yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. I know that. It much. also wasn't a couple years ago. <laughs> It depends on... Time is relative. Is it? Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. That we know. So, would you run a protest again? Depends on for what? The same thing. The exact same thing. Well, because I don't know those guys anymore. Yeah, so but I don't, couldn't care. But it, you'd know these guys if they decided to do it. Oh, then yeah, probably. Okay. But I feel like, I feel like he's got like a union. He's got a union to go protest for him at his job. Yeah. We did so. mock rallies last year. So. Yeah. Fun. Cool. But I'd do it at my job, yeah. All right. Let's do it. But like I said, it all depends. Like, I don't know. Like, it, like that, that was like, I knew it was a bullshit scenario. Because that's not what that tattoo stood for, and you should not have been reprimanded for that. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But, I mean, it also, I understand slightly, and I know you're going to have a problem with this, but I understand slightly that even though there could be a perception that that's what people from the outside could look like, could see it as like I could see that as being an issue. I could what? definitely see that people from the outside could see that there's these members of Job Corps that are associated with this white supremacy group from the outside. So therefore, they may not want that perception, even though that's not what no it was. Other perception. Well, I'm just saying. Well, it, re perception's reality. I've heard that seven million times in my life. So I get it, but it is stupid. But. Uh... Like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, there was no outside perception. Like, nobody's looking in at Job Corps. I mean, you don't know that. Well, I do because I was there and I know how it operates. Okay. People 
people can find out where you work, though. People love doing that on the internet. They love to get people yeah. fired. Yeah. Yeah. This was a school. Yeah, like, it was kind of a school. It's yeah. a school. Still, people can find out. It's a cover. It's a government. Government facilitated school. school. Yeah, they do. What are you learning how to do? Lay bricks. Uh, you're doing masonry stuff, aren't you? Uh, there was uh masonry. I was gonna. I was about to learn how to do masonry. Yep. Gave that up. Oh, I didn't. I got kicked out. <laughs> Right. I did not know that you got kicked out of Job Corps for organizing and leading a protest. Yep. But you certainly went down with the ship as the captain. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Good for you. <clears throat> it was a good one. It was, it, was, it was a good time. What other dumb things have you done? <laughs> like what? Like when? A couple of years ago? <laughs> a couple, yeah. A couple of years ago. Well, that could be any time. Yeah, that could be any time. That could be any time in the history of see, the world. See, now you guys get it. Thank you. Yeah, well, time. now we get it because we just learned how, what, I don't even know what to call it, but we just learned how absent you are from life. Yeah. We learned about <laughs> Russell time. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm actually remarkably always on time. Yeah. I'm normally always on time, very early. I'm early to a fault, yeah. Because I will also show up to your house early if you invite me over. So I hope you want help setting up your party. Yep, yep. Parties. I'll be at. A, I'll be the first one at a party. Always. But I also know what year it is and when other years happened. I mean, I know what year it is, and I can count backwards. So if I know it was twenty eleven, I know it was thirteen years ago. But if I don't know what year it is, it's a couple years. Why don't you just change it to a few years? Why don't you change it to a few years? I oh, I would already have called it a few years ago. Then why are you arguing with me? Because a few is just more than one and less than all, right? Isn't that like kind well, of... Well, a couple is also three. more than one and less than all. I yeah, but a two a couple a is two. Three. That's exactly and what I say. I always represent a couple as two because, yeah. you know, a couple... Yeah, a, a couple pair is, is a pair. It's yeah. two. And then a few I've always represented as around three. Um, That's what I've heard. And yeah, then I several just... is like four or more or something. Okay. Well, let's actually look up what's the definition of a, of a few. Um, I don't think anybody did that. I don't think anybody cares. No, yeah, Lilo's getting it. Oh. She's our star. My phone's dead. <laughs> there is a computer in front of yeah, me. Yeah, there is literally a computer... With... With well, a detachable keyboard, so like you don't even have to like lean on forward. I don't want to mess anything up. I use a computer when I sit in front of it. I'm not good with Apple products. A few is between two and several. <laughs> <laughs> so when when does several start then? If it's between two and several. When does several start? Or this one says after between, a couple. Between two and nine. <laughs> between two and nine, but still, can you look at what what value so does several start at? How many is several? It's a few fews. Yeah, it's a few fews. It's a couple fews. Few is three. Some is four, five, few or cubed. six. Several is seven, eight, or nine. See, yeah, yeah, many I don't means like that. ten or more. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I could get behind many. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next time you say something that's going to be more than two years, we know it's going to be at least a decade away, so let's say a many years ago. Yeah, so so a couple is now two through ten. Russell time, everybody. We're not switching our perception of time for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're the only one here. Get out of here. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just... But yeah, we're not changing. We're not, we're not learning your I mean, definitions. To, also, to be fair, it's my life. You don't need an exact chronological explanation of what happened in that. Well, but this wasn't an example of your life. This was an example of when a definition changed from one thing to another thing. A couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else you want from me at that point. It was a couple years. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right.
Are you okay? No. Let's <laughs> no. move on. Let's move on. All right. Oh, man. So what else you got? What else do I got? Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about more words? I do, actually. Uh, this isn't on my list, but I was thinking about when we were talking about fews and many's and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I learned this a long time ago. And again, I think I learned this like a decade and a half ago. Just 15 years, by the way. So, like, many? Yeah, many years many. ago. So, you know, I thought you were going to say a couple. Darn it, you missed the opportunity here. We already went through <laughs> it. We already went through it. See, and that's how... Like, if you guys... If I can fucking quickly change my timeline you can get on my fucking board too it was literally 30 seconds that i created this i already remember yeah no. okay so but there's a, apparently i've heard that there's a, a difference between maybe and might i mean yeah they're not completely interchangeable and do you know what the difference is i feel like might is um we're gonna use we're gonna use percentages okay yeah mm -hmm. right like i'm okay with that okay i feel like might is 51% on the side of doing it and maybe is 51% of the side of not doing that it. That is actually that is the difference, yeah. But yeah. it's but it's more so maybe it's a high likelihood of not happening might higher yeah. likelihood of happening, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What? I burped. That was like really, really a weird way to do that. Yeah. Anyway, well, I feel like I'm talking to someone right here. And I didn't want to blow my burp into their face. So instead, you went over to the side to their ear, and then you went, excuse me. <laughs> I, I heard you say that. Well, you no, whispered it, was, it. It was the burping, though, that I wanted to blow the burp out. But you whispered it to you. Excuse me. <laughs> That's not how you say excuse me? No. Oh. No, because normally, if you're going to say it, you're going to say it verbally so people can hear you. Not You're not going to just whisper it. But... Like a weirdo in a Well, it was, it was like a whisper of a burp, so it was kind of a whisper of an excuse me. But yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that what you do? Like, you say excuse me at the volume your burps are at? Kind of, yeah. Because I need to say excuse me to the level of earshot that people heard my burp. I think you should say it louder. Okay. Why? Because I feel like sometimes there might be an extra effect of your burp than besides uh, audio. There could be like a smell. It's likely. Right? So like a silent burp, nobody hears that, but all of a sudden everybody's like, dude, did you just vomit? But if you silent burp and say, oh, excuse me, you know people understand that there's going to be a smell but coming. that there might be but whether they it's coming out of one end or another if it's silent they just know there will be a smell yeah well okay. yeah that's fair you know that's fair okay at least we agreed on that <laughs> we can't align on some things mm -hmm. yeah yeah you seen any other movies lately No, no, I have not. Nothing new. Just no. all goodies, goodies, but oldies, but goodies. I want to see Oppenheimer, and I want to see Poor Things. Oh, I want to see Poor Things as well. Those are like the only two things from like the Oscars that I want to see. Well, I, I, I didn't even know any of them were in the Oscars. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Christopher Nolan won his first Oscar out of like nine nine nominations or something like that, but he won his first one for uh, for Oppenheimer for Best Picture. Mm. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. But he's been nominated. Sense. He's been nominated for like yeah a bunch of times. But yeah, <clears throat> but he has a problem. Does he have a problem? Yeah, he puts Leonardo DiCaprio on his movies. Okay. Is that a problem? Well, Leonardo DiCaprio has barely ever won an Oscar. Yeah. So, like... I suppose. So, like, if you're... You know, if you're already one of the most talented people having troubles to get an, an award, you don't want to team up with another person that's also one of the most talented people that can't get an award. That just... That's just double... That just... It doesn't add to your talent. It just doubles your chances to not get an award. Gosh, I don't know. 
I don't know if it's, I mean, is it because they're, like, wh what's the reason why they're not getting awards, or are there just that much better of films and portrayals out there? Because, things? or is because, it all rigged? It's all rigged. Because the Oscars are a Hollywood thing, and they don't, it's, they're, they're not as true to what things are as they should be. Giving, giving the best actor an award sometimes doesn't make the most money. <clears throat> no. I really don't understand how. Money. Yeah, but like how any of that makes them any money. Like the only people that I could see that would stand to make money from these awards are the people who won the awards. Because now they're, they, they deserve to get paid more because they bring this accolade. To, to the table. But who's making that money? So I'm saying the actor. That's what I'm saying. And then the film will grow more because more people want to go see it. Yeah, but what about all the actors, people that are in charge of all that stuff? The managers, the agents, all the stuff that book and are kind of in charge of what that actor does? They need to make their money and they're, they're the ones that want to make more money. Okay. So they that's how they deal it. But like, are those but, people? And so, so, so oh, that agent, oh, 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 but, so Leonardo DiCaprio's agent, isn't worried about money because he has the best actor that ever existed, and a studio will pay for whatever they need to get Leo. That guy doesn't have to worry, right? But now maybe, um, uh, who was? Uh, so hold on one second though before you continue. Are you are you saying that the agents then are the ones who like choose and pick what wins? It's a Hollywood, yeah. Okay, so you're saying that agents kind of run Hollywood. Well, not the agents them. There's a lot more to Hollywood than that. I that was just one example I threw out. Okay, I'm just I'm not exactly sure. There, what you're there's saying. there's directors and producers and agents and managers. There's a lot of things that go into Hollywood than the actors that we see. Okay. Yes. And those are the ones that run Hollywood. The actors aren't the ones that do it. It's the ones behind the actors that run Hollywood. Okay. But you're throwing directors into that as well. Yes. Okay. Then why do certain directors struggle to win awards? Because it's the same situation. It's still the same situation. Okay. One director doesn't have the poll as all of the other directors combined. <clears throat> well, so they don't base it off of like what the the audience likes. They base it off of their. It's like a peer. Mm -hmm. It's a peer thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, yeah. like, I, I, I like. Isn't there one that's based on like actual voting that people vote for? That I think that's like people? the Kids Choice Awards. I mean, there's a Kids yeah, Choice Awards, that's... but I think MT the VMAs. Is it? Okay. I think so. I don't know. I have no idea how all this stuff works because I don't even understand the point of the different of the different awards. Because that's the thing. It's like at one, what at a certain point, Emmys, Oscar, whatever. Like the the only voting for any sort of reward show that I see is the anime list every year. Okay. But then, so, like, what's the... So, Emmys is movies as well, right? I don't know. I don't... Because Grammys don't, are music. I don't know what the difference between them are. I think Emmys are music. Tonys are also music? Tony's I don't know. Music. Huh? Tonys are music. And then... And then Emmys are... Oh, Emmys are TV. Oh, I and think And then right. Oscars are movie. Yeah. But isn't there something else for movies as well? Probably a lot of things. Because there, because I know that already this year or whatever, there has been multiple awards where Oppenheimer has been put up, Barbie's been put up, Poor Things has been put up for multiple different types of awards. But different things have won different there, awards. There are more awards, but the four that you mentioned are the main four that yeah. are considered the EGOT. Yeah, we have the EGOT, yeah. I'm yeah. A, I've heard that. Yeah. But there's like, like, the, like the IFC Film Festival. Yeah, the film awards. festivals. There's yeah. a lot of... Big film festival. Sundance, Sundance yeah, Film Sundance Festival, is Kids Off Awards. Ones. Uh, um, but yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm hmm. Thought Barbie was terrible. You're a man. <laughs> My girlfriend thought Barbie, she wanted to leave the movie 10 minutes in. She was ready to get up and leave. She was, she was actually physically upset. By that movie. Oh, that sounds weird. Yeah. That sounds weird for anyone to be upset by any movie. 
unless it specifically came out saying Daniel Sheldon, well, you're a you know like well, unless we, it came out like that because we because it we went in to be entertained and yeah. we thought it was going to be an entertaining movie and we heard all these people talk about how entertaining it was and how fun it was and all this kind of stuff and it was not fun it was 100 percent political 100 percent of the time it was political and it just wasn't entertaining we went in to be entertained and all it was was political stuff being shoved down our throats uh, i i think only if you wanted to see that that's what happened but uh yeah anyway what did you just say i said i think if you wanted to see that that's what you saw but otherwise not, it's but we not. didn't know that that's not even what we thought was going to happen well, because based on the previews that wasn't what it was going to be it was just going to be a fun movie about a toy yeah that i think is that's what lie. it is i think that's what it is it's really not <laughs> okay it's not it's not we have other people here agreeing it's not I don't that. Know about that so it's definitely not but to be fair <laughs> uh there was actually also a lot of like uh, how do I wear it? There was a lot of warning, like ahead of the, its actual release, saying like, "No, this is like a com- uh, like a, a political commentary of sorts." Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. hear those warnings. Yeah, I didn't hear those warnings either. <laughs> I heard, th- like, I kind of heard the like, opposite. Like, stop! It's about a child's toy. Stop there, trying to put your narrative on it. No, there, that's like, what there, I kept hearing. Well, you probably heard. You probably heard people critiquing the movie, saying. It's about a child's toy. Stop putting you directors and writers. Stop putting your political commentary. No, I heard. I heard people basically saying, "Stop you as a person that just walked into the movie and watched it, and now are upset about something pink and woman." Like, stop it. That's like it's supposed to be about Barbie, but it wasn't. Like, I don't know what you want about that. It wasn't. So I don't know. Watch it. It wasn't. I'm sure I'll. I I won't see it. You don't need to. I never need to see it ever again in my entire and life. And when I say see it, I meant is I would watch it, but I will not see it the, the way you do. I mean, I don't. I don't. I think it's hard to not see it that way. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Right. I think I think there's too many people out there that try to find meaning in something that doesn't. But exist. it's they're literally they're, outspoken about it. They're outspoken. It's very outspoken. It, they're no, 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 like no, no. the we're directors are outspoken about it. And then people even like men connected with the I am Kenuff like T shirt and men connected with that and the way that they've been feeling about things. And then the like director or writer actually got mad that men got some sort of empowerment out of it. Like they were outspoken about that. So mm-hmm. yes, this then is what the sounds, movie's about. That sounds stupid. It, it was very stupid. Kind of weird. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. So, I, mean, I don't know. What else do you want to argue about? I don't know. Those were bad pickles, weren't they? I didn't try it. Oh, you just felt it and it was all yeah, spongy? It like squished in my hand. Yeah, that thing. I put that thing in my mouth. I had to run out of the room. That was gross. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. What do you got? Nothing. You're done? Got I told my FTW story. And I guess I'll confirm, because I don't know what else you were talking about, but there there were a lot of Ethiopians at Job Corps. <laughs> there were a lot of Ethiopians at Job Corps. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Because that's written down on your thing. Yeah, because you told me to ask about it. I don't know why I would tell you to ask about it. I literally don't have a story about it, except for the fact that there was a lot of Ethiopians there. Yeah, but you told you told me something about like there was a reason. And there was a reason behind it. And you're like, ask me about it. What's the reason behind it? I think all there was a, I think there was a reason for something else. Okay, what's the reason for something else? I don't know. I don't know what the something else is right now. Come on, man, dig deep. Yeah, I don't know. There's just yeah. a lot of Ethiopians there. <laughs> Alright, cool. Which is weird. Where is Ethiopia? It's on the east side of Africa. East side of Africa? East north-ish. So is that like... Is that closer to the west coast or the east coast? Of what? Of the United States. I mean, it's it would be closer to the east coast of the United States. Are you sure? Yes. I'm pretty darn certain. Hmm. Yeah. Because if it's not like, it's not like, because if we want to go to Asia, we would fly west. If we want to go to Africa, we would fly east. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the, I like the discernment though on 
the east closer to the east coast of what? Well, it's 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 on the east coast <laughs> of Africa, so that's where it's the closest uh, to our east west coast. Yeah, yeah because like that's what that. I was trying to get at. Like, I feel like if you're going to immigrate somewhere, you're you're not gonna like choose the furthest possible state in the country to go to at that point. I mean, I think you'd be pretty surprised. Yeah. You know? There's been a lot of uh, Mexican immigrants to Wisconsin lately. I know. There's a lot of Mexican immigrants here, and I'm just like, but I guess that makes sense to me. Well, because there's another border to cross if they need to. Well, that's, well, that's, well, that's, that's illegal. Like, I would say illegals would want to get as far away from wherever they're coming from as no, possible. No, not even, I'm not even talking about illegal. It's just, right, been, no, no, it's becoming right. very popular. I'm not saying we're, I'm not saying we're talking about illegals, but mm -hmm. I would say it would make sense for illegals to want to get as far away from their border as possible. As far as if you're not illegal and you're coming here and you want to become a citizen of this country, it, yeah, go wherever you want, go wherever the opportunity you're looking for will be. It doesn't, there's no, you go, yeah, go wherever. Come up to Wisconsin from, go go to Montana from Ethiopia. I think that would be a real real shock there, though, for them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to go to Montana. <laughs> Montana was really nice. I like Montana. Montana's really nice. Um, are you looking it up? I'm looking. I'm looking to see if I'm right about Ethiopia. Why are you just oh, random? He's randomly looking at a map, trying, hoping to find it. Because, well, the the things are floating. You're, you're yeah, right. I am. Yeah. It's not on the co It's not on the coast, though. It no? is. It is separated by Eritrea, Djibouti, and Somalia. I thought it was the one that was kind of elbow shaped. That's Somalia. That's Somalia. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's blocked. It doesn't actually touch the water, but it is on the east side. Okay. So yeah. But it's very close to their east coast. It borders their east coast. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah. But let's find out if it's closer. So does the Nile go through? Oh yeah, it's so far away from our west coast. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah it's oh so yeah. Far. The, no, anything. Yeah. West of China is yeah. going to be closer to uh -huh. our east coast. Absolutely. The Nile does not look like it goes through oh, it. Okay. The Nile is adjacent to it it goes through mm -hmm. um it's it's close. Like that. That's yeah. what it goes through south sudan which borders it and it goes okay. through sudan which also borders it yeah learning about africa probably one of the worst of my geography skills that was one of my best we actually uh because we had to do like in high school geography, we had to do all of the countries of the world and all of the capitals, but we did a continent at a time. Hmm. And Africa was actually my best one. I would have walked out of that class. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of lame, but Africa was my best one. But like, like, what's the capital of Togo? Uh, I don't know. What? Togo is not a real place. <laughs> what are you talking about? That, you mean Toga? No, that's, I mean, a, that's a garment. No, like I mean Greek Togo. I mean, I mean the T-O-G-O, the country in Africa. The, Nat Geo? There's something in Nat Geo? Togo. The Togo. country in Africa. The capital of Togo is Togo. No, I think you, like... Like, you could also call it carry out. <laughs> it's to go. It's Togo. Um, I'm still probably actually pronouncing it completely wrong, but it's... it's Togo. Yeah, Africa. carry out. It's in West yeah, Africa. Yeah, it's West Africa. It's on the coast, yeah. But it's... Uh, uh, um, we, as Americans, we pretty much pronounce every country wrong. Right? Yeah, what's, we, I mean, what's we the give, capital? As Americans, we give a country their a different name. Yeah, than what which they I, call themselves. Well, but that's actually that's not just an American thing. That's actually I know it's not, it's so weird. That is actually a thing which I think is that's the weirdest thing is that other countries will call other countries something that their country isn't. I think that's one of the weirdest things in the entire world. I I do think that's really weird. But we're I not the only ones really who do strange. that. Um, but uh, yeah, South Africa. What's the capital of South Africa? Anyone? No. It's actually a trick question because there, there's two of them. There's no capital? No. It's, or there's, there's two, two South there's Africa's. Two of, yeah. No, there, there's two, two <laughs> South Africa? There's two capitals of South Africa, Johannesburg and Cape Town. Is this is this the difference between like the actual country of South Africa and just the south part of Africa? <laughs> no, South Africa is not a region. South Africa is a country. <laughs> right. 
where Elon Musk is from. Yep. Is it really? Yeah. And, and oh, I, thought he was from, like, I thought he was from like Sweden or something. No, and Dion for no. Don't even, don't even get. Yeah, speaking of Dion word. Wait, you know who they are no, now? You didn't know no, who they were last time. I, I, someone was talking to me because someone I know very close to me listened to our podcast and they wanted me to call out that they don't think Africanese is a real thing. Oh, okay. So can someone look up to see if Africanese is real? Yeah, it's their real language. Africanese. Yeah. Yeah. Is a real? Is it yeah. really? Yeah. I'm of where? Sure. They have a lot of languages. Okay, so Africa, Africa has like the sure. most. Well, yes, yes. Like Africa has a lot official of languages. Official languages has a lot, but Africanese. That's, yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it's F A F R I I K A N E E S E. I think. Yeah, it's Africanese. Yeah, that. I want to find out if this is real. I feel like I've heard it pronounced differently, though. Like yeah, I, I probably didn't pronounce it right. I don't remember, though. So if you didn't pronounce it right, then I would say that's probably spelt completely differently, which means it's a different word. There's a dog called an Africanese. <laughs> Spelling it with a K. How do you spell it? With a, I'm spelling with a C. I think it might be spelled with a K. Yeah, it's spelled with a K. Okay. Yeah. Right. And two A's. Afrikaans. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. So it's Afrikaans is not a real thing. Is it Afrikaans? It's Afrikaans. It's two Afrikaans. A's. Afrikaans. Okay. Yeah. I knew he was close. Yeah, which is close, but that because was the thing. Because when is... he said it. When I watched that podcast episode and he said it, I was like, it sounds right, but I just didn't think it was that. Yeah, I didn't have enough knowledge. It's a it. West Germanic language spoken in South Africa, Nambia, Botswana, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. But yeah, so so she was good to call you out on that. Slightly. You're just a little wrong. Afrikaans. Afrikaans. And that's still probably pronounced completely incorrect. But yeah. It'd be funny if it was actually pronounced Africanese, but spelt the way that we found it spelt. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually okay with calling it Africanese. <laughs> it's actually, if I can call a country whatever country name I want to call it. Nope, you're just Japan now. <laughs> We're not going to respect your actual name. Is, I actually think Japan's actual name was Japan. Wasn't nope. It? Oh, it's not. Nippon. 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 Oh, okay. Fuck huh? you, Germany. Deutschland. We're, gonna, we're just going to call you Germany. Yep. Deutschland. España. Frank. Yeah. Polska. I think that's Pol. Osteria. Osterich. Osterich. Mm. That's Austria. So, speak, what, so, speaking of Africa. Okay. Should we tell them? No. No? Okay. No, we won't <laughs> tell them. <laughs> you guys are just we left wondering what we were gonna tell them. Yeah. Do you, what? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Probably not. Okay. I think I have a guess, but I'm probably off. But no. Okay. You know you can just say it and cut it out, right? Yes, that is exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, but we I don't know okay. what else you would have thought of. Well, maybe. You do not say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's you will not. That's the thing I thought you thought I was going to be saying. No. Yeah. So no, because okay. I didn't think you were that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's. It's the it's the one drop rule. No, it's okay. <laughs> Just stop. Now you're gonna stop. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Like, comment. We'll probably never see you again. That's not true. Well, we'll see them all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Are we done? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Three. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. To, uh, uh, two rights make a wrong. Yeah. Do all the things that he just said, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, have fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, uh, 
This was a very uh, divisive <laughs> <laughs> episode here. Kind of spicy. Yeah.